been have there been any uh, towns that have signed on for this no binding arbitration over the next two years? A forum with most of the mayors and first selectmen across the state. And the minute that um, legislation is moved forward, if we can get it forward, um, they will be on board. They will be lined up. You know, I, I, that was the one thing in, in our um, our town meetings, I guess. What do we call it? Town meetings? Yeah, Something like forums, that. Yeah. Our town forums. That was the one consistent thing that every didn't matter if it, they were Republican or Democrat at the municipality level. They want relief from binding our own. But it's the first time the state of Connecticut, any of its departments have ever been looked at. What is your goal? What is your function and purpose? And are you fulfilling it? You know, the first time in Connecticut's history. So it, it really is a new opportunity for us. And the public-private partnerships that are starting to bubble up, I think you're going to you know, I believe, I mean, I believe there's nothing stronger than public-private partnerships. And I think that the quality of service that you get with those relationships are far superior. And we're also... I'm back again, but uh, two questions. One is, you said I think around $4 billion we're going to receive the state? Two, two, two billion. Two point eight. Two billion to the general fund, $800 million. Per year? For the next two that's over years. the course of the next two years right. one time. For an 800 billion dollar stimulus. That seems like a very small percentage of that pie. Is there any reason for that? Or is that, uh, uh, you know, we do have uh, representation in the majority down in Washington. I would think we'd get a bigger slice than that. Uh, um, to the point, well, the previous two points, eliminating and consolidating state agencies and commissions. Exactly what is the plan of attack for that? Because you know as well as I do that these commissioners and department heads, and they're not going to put their heads or the, the heads of their employees on the chopping block, and everybody is telling you that they're essential. Everybody is telling you the state can't live without them. I've never seen a taxpayer-supported office run without uh, the, the head boss having at least three assistants, if not five, and everybody else gets one assistant. Um, so what, what is the plan of attack to really clear all that out? Again, you talk about political will. So on one hand, there's double speed because you know you come to the legislature. The legislature, we you know, it's a political body. You know, it's that's the nature of the beast. The fact of the matter is, is that if there was an uprising from the CEOs of every town and community in the state of Connecticut, and they had behind them their their populace. You wouldn't have that majority voting the way that majority votes. The example being, if you look at what